House 94, you have a run, fully involved video from a shadow box. Details on your MDTs now. Hello everybody, this is a shadow box and welcome back to Farming Simulator 19. Here in, uh, what is it, Ridgeport is the name of this uh, map. Of course we have our horses here, Twilight and Zeke. No, I did not name this one, but it is what it is. I'm not that fussed about their names, to be honest. And you can see I've adjusted our money, so we were paid by that contract that went wrong. And we also finished and got paid for the contract that we started last time, the uh, cotton harvesting. So today we're going to take care of our horses, give them their uh, daily ride, and then we are going to... Um, continue with our contracting to make money and expand our horse farm because that's kind of what we're doing with uh, this series we're testing out the horse farming and if horses are a viable way to make money just uh, on their own so I kind of want to try something really quick I am not really sure this is going to work but I want to try I think it would be really cool if you could ride your horses from the trailer. So let's move them. Oh, wow. They're both already worth more than what we paid for them. That's awesome. We could make uh, we could make a profit if we sold them right now, but we're not going to because they are not perfect yet. Um, if we look here, they are only at 15%, and they're already worth that much. So imagine what they're going to be worth at 100%. And I did not confirm the move there. So, Dallin, hello, how are you, buddy? I'm just testing something with the horse trailer really quick. Oh, we probably need to open it first. That would make sense. Alright, can we ride our horses? No, we can't. That's too bad. I was hoping we could, like, load our horses into the uh, trailer and, like, take them to the beach and ride them down there. Good, Dallin. I'm glad you're finally able to play. Definitely been waiting long enough. No, I think the music is too loud. Let me adjust that really quick. I, I can't even hear the game. So, let's open the gate here. And let's see how far we have to go to get to 100% riding. I think going to the shop and back is about 50% of the daily riding. So we'll try to find somewhere we can go other than the shop. Maybe if we go to the lime station up here. 
It's like skip along the skip along the coast here, maybe to the pier, and then back down. Not directly into a tree though. Ooh, some nasty looking clouds on the horizon. Where are we at for daily riding? 30%. Let's turn our horse into a goat. Okay, check out that crashed ship. Oh, that's sad, all the trash washed up on the beach. See, it's too bad there's nothing to collect in Farming Sim 19. So, Dallin, what uh, difficulty are you going to start at? Are you going to do the uh, start from scratch or um, farm manager or new farmer? Horse is a goat. Ah, farm manager. Nice. Yeah, that's probably the difficulty I should have started at, but I wanted to make it interesting. And I think I've succeeded in that. I was talking to Rainbow Dave earlier during his stream. I was on uh, the Discord with him. And I told him what I've done for starting. And he was like, oh geez, why would you do that? But he also told me that horses can be very profitable. Uh, which we're seeing already. I mean, you buy the horse for $5,000 and already our horses are worth almost $8,000 each and we've had them for one day. So I'm thinking this can be a great way to earn money. I'm hoping that modders come out with like placeable fences and stuff like that. Actually, I don't know. Is there placeable fences already? Nope, there is not. 
too bad. Um, I was thinking placeable fences would be great. We could like buy a really big field and then put like the large horse paddock in it and then fence the rest of the field in. And then it could be like a giant pasture for exercising the horses and stuff like that. But I guess we're going to have to wait for modders to give us uh, placeable fences before we can do something like that. Oh, the horse knocked down the sign. All right, that's Twilight's daily riding finished. We're not gonna do Zeke's daily riding right now. We'll uh, have him wait till later, but we are going to brush Twilight. And Twilight should be all set. Yep, we're gonna need to add some uh, oats here, I think. Obviously we don't have our own oats right now. Actually, should see, this is already fertilized 100%, so we're just going to have to keep an eye out for weeds. Um, it's okay. You actually need a uh, telehandler or something like that to move it around. That's actually a bale spike, just like jammed in there to move it around. Um... You gotta make sure that you buy the correct one. Because if we go here to animals, the SSL is skid steer loader, the FL is front loader, and the TL is telehandler. So make sure you just buy the right one for the implement that you're using. Because I accidentally bought this one and then lost about $700 because I had to sell it right away and then buy this one. Oh, now the game volume is too loud. Is our hay still doing okay for the animals? Yes, our hay is fine. I just want to get a couple more bags of oats. I know we have the money right now and probably should just buy a bunch of oats because we're going to need them and we'll buy a bunch of uh one two three four that should be enough for now Yeah, just gotta get the balancing right on the audio. That's just gonna be basically through trial and error. I think my chair needs adjusting. There we go. That's better. I 
I want those CZ um, pallet forks back as well. Because pallet handling in the game is still not great, unfortunately. I mean, it's not as bad as what it was in, like, Farming Simulator 2013, but... I feel like it might be worse than what it was in 17. Overall, though, I think the game is a great improvement, don't get me wrong. I'm saying there are a couple things that need to be worked on a little more. I do have some of the first mods in from the mod hub. If we uh, take a look real quick, I can show you what they are. Under small tractors, we now have the Hurleyman. Under harvesters, we now have the K1660. I think it was a windrower? No, a tether. No. Bailing tech? Yep, there we go. Ursus T127. Um, of course, I pre ordered the game, so I have the Mahindra. I think there was one other thing that I just I don't remember what it was. I think it was another tractor. No idea. Oh well, it's not important. Not a big deal. It might have been like a cultivator. Anyway, done wasting time with that. Can't wait to own the for have enough money to own the forklift. That'll make loading and unloading pallets so much easier.
let's get these up to the farm. Yeah, I would do that, Dallin, if, uh, you know, you were only charged the lease by the hour, but you're charged the lease by the day as well. And since there's no maintenance cost anymore, in my opinion, I think it's probably just better to buy the forklift and then keep it at the shop. But hey, you know, as long as you're happy with leasing it, then keep on leasing it. Need to make the look sensitivity a little higher, I think. a little better. I was not able to play Farming Sim at all yesterday because I was working. It was awful. So I've been playing it like all day today. Apart from I took a little break to work out. I can probably fit another pallet in there. That's probably good for now. I'll touch up the water and straw because why not? Oh, whoops. No. There we go. I have not cut down any trees yet, no. I have very limited property, which means I have very limited trees that I could potentially cut down right now. Nope, that's not what I meant.
There we go. Weird. Oh no, I think that was me misunderstanding what was going on. My bad. Okay. So there's the straw taken care of. Now we should really purchase uh, some kind of storage shed for our equipment. Yeah, expanding this field wouldn't be a bad idea for me either, to be honest. How's our field doing? 0% weeds, 100% fertilized. It's going to need lime after we harvest it. Obviously, you can't spread lime on it right now. Um, you know, we should probably put in a shelter. Let's see how much that would cost us. Just the easy shed one. And remove that tree there, and I think that would be a pretty much perfect place for it. So yeah, let's uh, purchase a chainsaw. I like Husqvarna. It was this tree that was giving us the problem, I think? So this might be interesting, to say the least. No, how do I crouch with the controller? I don't think I can with the controller. All right. All right, let's delimit. Ah, yep, it's Y. Thanks, Dallin. I'm using an Xbox controller, by the way. go. My plan was to do contract work today, but looks like we're doing work for ourselves, which is not a bad thing. I'm wondering if we'll get more money by selling this as uh, logs or by renting a wood chipper and selling it as chips, because this is not very, these logs are not very straight. At the same time, we would have to rent the wood chipper, so...
Alright, that is a delimbed tree. Let's take a look at prices. For forestry equipment, the cheapest chipper that we could possibly get is this Jen's chipper. And we would be leasing that for $5,120. Do I think we could get $5,000 worth of wood chips out of this? Let's see. What's the economy for wood chips? I somehow doubt that we're that that would be a good financial decision. Ninety dollars. Yeah, I doubt we would make that money back. So we're just gonna have to. It's not gonna sell for much, but we're not really doing it for the selling anyway. We're doing it so we can place a barn there. Alright, let's cut this in half, I think. Oh, that just completely got rid of that part. That's fine. Can we pick this up? Yes, we can. As long as it's not dragging on the ground, I don't care if it's hanging out the bed of the truck. Or actually, I kind of do care if it's hanging out the bed of the truck. That'll work. go. That's fine. All right, this isn't going too badly. I mean, they're not going to sell for much, but we're, like I said, we're just trying to get rid of it, really. I kind of want to try to get all the little pieces in one load, and then we'll come back for the big pieces. Because I don't think we're going to be able to uh, get the entire tree in one load in the bed of this pickup truck.
if I had loaded the truck better, we probably could have got it all in one load, but... I'm not really good at this kind of thing. Alright. We'll be back for the rest of the tree. That's the spinnery. And I think we sell wood up here. Now I'm just not sure exactly where. Well, this is the biomass heating plant, so this might not be where we want to be. Um, sawmill, that's where we want to be. Silly me. Excellent. I really like this truck, actually. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'd never honked the horn before. I didn't know that was just a default horn. I thought Rainbow Dave had modified it. $500. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, knew it was not going to be much. All right, one more load of wood. Whoops. I'm trying to turn off my turn signal, not jump out of the truck.
Oh, I don't think I ever refilled the horse's water. We'll have to get on that. I'll do that really quick before I forget again. And I wonder if there's a contract we can set some subcontractors on while we're doing this. Should probably take a look. Let's take a look really quick. Um, because we definitely made some good profit with that, uh, cotton contract. Ooh. Field 10. Plowing field 4. Ooh, harvesting field eight. Field eight's the biggest one on the map. So that would take quite a long time. 38 and a half hect or 30 38 and a half eight. Whew, I'm so used to saying hectares when I'm referring to farming simulator sizes. 38 and a half acres. Field eleven, slightly less. Like, almost half. And we'd be getting $10,000 for that, compared to 15000 for that. I think we'll do the field 11 one. Oh shoot, I just accepted the contract. Yep. I meant to lease equipment. Darn. Oh well. Could do the field 10 one. Oh, let's do the field eight one. Why not? Biggest field on the map. Here we go. Oh, good. That gives us a semi trailer for the product. Oh, come on, car, move. So we'll do a quick headland, and then we'll let a subcontractor take over.
Obviously, if we want to make any kind of profit with this, we're going to have to uh, do some of the work ourselves. But while we have other things to do on the farm, we can have a subcontractor do the work. I'm fine with that. Now, I saw someone say on Reddit that issue I had with uh, the sugar beet harvester not emptying into the trailer. It might have been because the trailer was not in the field. Um, and uh, Because they want the trailer to be reserved only for um, the contract work. So it won't let you load the trailer with anything that's not on the field or if the trailer is not on the field or something like that so we'll just have to be careful this time around make sure that the trailer is always on the field when we are unloading the combine The animation from in the cab on this looks pretty nice too. Yeah, on Rainbow Dave's server, I started a contract with the plow on this field, and oh my goodness, that was a mistake. I got like 10% through it, and then decided, yeah, no, forget this, and canceled the contract. Alrighty, I think that should probably be enough headland for our subcontractor to work. So let's get him turned around. Or actually, let's bring the truck up here. Because uh, he probably will not be able to... Probably will not be able to uh, do anything. I mean, he probably won't be able to get all the way to the bottom of a field before needing to be unloaded, so... Might as well just get this taken care of now. This isn't a bad truck. That's kind of a long chassis, but... So it looks kind of weird to me, but it's alright. So it's like a fog horn for a truck horn, but it is what it is. Holy moly, it is almost 6 o'clock. We've been live streaming almost an hour already. I did not anticipate that. Oh, 
Oh, this is the, like, Hopper-style trailer. That's cool. I wonder what its capacity is. And each hopper is a separate grain tank. That's interesting. Hold 60,000. Thanks, Stalin. Well, I could have just checked the shop, but I was feeling lazy. Alrighty. Off you go. And back to chopping up this tree I go. Oh, that's too big for me to pick up still. Now these are probably going to be worth even less than the last load because they're not as long. Because I'm not going to spend the money to buy a log grabber to make these any longer. I just want them to be hand loadable because profit's not our first concern with this tree. We're already probably going to have to rent a stumper, because I doubt the terrain's going to level over that stump that's left. That's too large of a piece to pick up by hand? How about this one? This one's fine. This is going to be an even uglier load because of how short a lot of things are going to be. I need muscles mode! These are probably just not going to be able to be picked up by me at all. So let's see if the pallet fork can pick these up, actually.
Shoot. Alright. Well, I guess we're going to do this the kind of smart way. All the hand pieces are getting loaded after. Oh, our subcontractor's nearly full already. We'll check on them as soon as we have this wood loaded up. That's a big log. <laughs> Should I have cut it in half? Yeah, probably. Am I going to? Nope. Full grain tank. Duly noted. Can I pick this piece up? No. Didn't think so. Still can't pick that piece up. Ah, darn it. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to cut that piece in half again. Actually, we're going to empty this now because I'm just wasting uh, money on that hired worker, on that contractor, subcontractor, there we go. Because obviously, I'm the contractor, so the people that I hire are subcontractors. Is there crop destruction with the contract? It doesn't look like it. So that'll be handy for unloading the combine, at least. Alrighty. Back to our lumber escapade. I want to place a shed here.
Oh, I just got a message from Alrighty. Sorry, I got a message from Verizon. It looked like someone's trying to sign into my account, so send had to send a text message to somebody it might have been. Because if not, somebody's trying to get unauthorized access to my account. That's not good. This is very haphazardly loaded. That's all right, it should work. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I just accidentally drove over the stump. That was great for the bottom of the truck, I'm sure. No! No! Come on! Break dancing truck! Yes! No! We need to go unload our helper. Come on.
If I can wiggle onto the tracks, then the train can come by and flip me. There's a train! Wiggle faster! Dang it. Alright, we need to get to the helper. I'm surprised you made it all the way that far. The who's who of gaming. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. It's my day off. I get to play Farming Sim 19. So, you know, everything's good. Yeah, I don't want to unload the wood because then I would have to reload it. <laughs> I'm hoping I can either wiggle the truck upright or I'll bring the uh, front loader over to get it. Oh, I might have just got it completely stuck now. Yep, gonna need the front loader. Alright, you need to calm down, dude. Oh, I think I went up the wrong side. It's okay, I can just dip down the side road. Wait, no, that's for the mission. I do want to be up here. Or for the contract, I mean, not the mission. They're contracts now. All right. Oh, no! Ugh. I can't believe it happened again.
That's alright, because I'm going to need to bring the um, tractor to the shop here momentarily anyway, so. We got to rent a stump cutter. Where's the trigger? There it is. Oh! That was more money than I was expecting. That should be able to pay for the stump cutter rental at least. Subcontractor is still going strong, it looks like. So, first, I'll just try to place the shed and see if it'll place despite the stump. Because if we can save the money on the stump cutter rental, I'll save the money on the stump cutter rental. But I doubt it's going to work as easy as that. Assuming it's just that stump there. Because Rainbow Dave said the bushes get deleted, so. I'm hoping it's just the stump. Alright. At least that's just $400. Not too bad. Oh, I completely missed the warnings for the uh, subcontractor this time. It's a good thing I just managed to tab over here and see that he was stopped. Alright guys, we'll go about 10 more minutes in the live stream. I'll probably finish this contract off camera. Um, I just gotta get stuff ready for Thanksgiving tomorrow. And if you're in the States, Happy Thanksgiving to you. If you're not in the States, Happy Thanksgiving anyway. Because it's Thanksgiving for me. And I'm thankful for all of you. Aww. Okay. I think we should just empty this now. So off camera, I'm going to finish this contract and I'm going to uh, do the daily writing for Zeke. So I haven't done that yet today. And then that should be the point where we pick up for next time. Uh, for the remainder of this time, I'm going to take this to the uh, port 
cell point so we can see how all this works. And then I'm going to get the stump cutter, bring it over to the farm, remove that stump, and uh, hopefully we'll then be able to place the uh, shed we've been trying to place. Nope. So it's not quite as bad. If I was using keyboard, if I switch over to keyboard, I would be crashing all the time because of the new keyboard steering. I just don't really care for it. But it's not that bad on the Xbox. Whoa, train! Get out of the way! Whew, that was close. Oh my goodness. That is a ramp if I have ever seen one. You know we're going to have to try that out eventually. So I actually have to adjust the tip side. That's not great, but that's all right. Oh, maybe we don't have to do the whole field because it's saying that that's 25% done already or 22% done already. I don't know. So there's a train line here and a train line there. I'm assuming that the bottom train line just, yeah, continues off the map. Oh, the grain tank is nearly full. I'm still playing Red Dead Redemption 2, as well as Farming Sim 19, so that's why I'm not doing a ton of work off camera, because I'm still really enjoying Red Dead Redemption. Um, once I'm done playing through that game for the first time, I'm doing an honorable playthrough of Red Dead Redemption right now, uh, and after I finish my honorable playthrough, I'm going to do a dishonorable playthrough, just for funsies. Um... But uh, my dishonorable playthrough probably won't be as thorough, so it won't take as long. Uh, if I knew how to live stream PS4, I definitely would for the dishonorable playthrough. But we're going to have to wait until it comes to PC, if it comes to PC. Um, if it comes to PC, I will definitely do a Let's Play on it. Alright, that is fine there. We need to find our tractor, go pick up the stump cutter. I 
I'm kind of hoping that the next in-game day is going to have uh, some weeds in the field that we'll have to take care of. Then we're going to have to get some uh, care wheels put in on the case and uh, get a weeder or a herbicide sprayer. Probably going to go for the weeder because the field is small enough. It shouldn't be that difficult to manage. And I'm not sure if we will buy it or if we're going to lease it. Kind of depends on uh, what the cost is. I know I still don't have a custom artwork thumbnail like I wanted to do. I just uh, haven't had time. Why are you moving so jerkily? Why are you not stumping? Please tell me we can place the shed now. Otherwise, this whole amount of work is going to be for nothing. I'm going to be very sad. You don't own this land. Oh, you're kidding me! If the terrain can't be deformed there, then you should say that instead of there's an issue with colliding with an object. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. What if we rotate it? Oh, that makes me so sad. Like, that would be so perfect. Oh. What about, like, over here, then? It says I don't own the land. So what, I have to wait until I own Field 22? What about behind the field? No, because there's a giant hill behind the field. And we could, in theory, put it on the field, but... I really don't want to lose any more field than we already have. 
What about just like over here? What's the problem now? The terrain can't be deformed here. Suppose we can just face it the other way and put it in here. I'm really hoping it doesn't destroy much of the field. Can we kind of inch it off the field? $14,000. That's going to take like all of our money. So maybe we'll do that after we're done with our current mission. I mean, really, that's not doing anything for us there either. Because that's just like a giant slope right there that we would then have to deal with. I really wanted to put it here. Darn it. Alright, well, it is what it is. I guess we'll just have to wait for, uh... Oh, there's a placeable wood chipper. That's interesting. Alrighty, there's no, uh... No greenhouses this time around. That's too bad. I guess greenhouses don't really get used by many people. Alrighty, so no vehicle shed yet. That's not the end of the world, but it is annoying. I'm. How much is the field 20 piece of land? That includes a lot, so that's $227,000. 22, $280,000. $1,871. Eighteen's not very level, though. I doubt we would be able to uh, really get anything in over there. No, I guess I guess we should just wait until we can buy field twenty, and then we can put placeables in the part of the field I'm looking at right now, and then combine those two fields to make one field. That would probably be the best best option. Alrighty. Well, guys, I am going to wrap up the live stream here. Thank you guys very much for tuning in, and I hope to see you next time, where we will probably be doing some more contracting work, uh, taking care of the horses, and maybe, if I have time to get more um, off-camera work done, we'll sell our first horses for massive profit. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Until then, guys, have a good one. Command, dispatch. Firehouse 94 in service. Incident terminated.